All right, here we go. What's going on, guys? So, I haven't done, I don't think, like a movie type review, but I just watched uh, Malignant for, on HBO Max. Um, and holy crap. I was gonna say, it's holy crap. Uh, it was directed by James Wan, and uh, it's sort of like a, like a horror type movie. Um, and uh, I will say that I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I want to talk about as far as my background is, as far as movies go. I'm not a real like huge critic. I'm not very like picky too much normally, because um, <clears throat> I know a lot of work goes into filmmaking. And you know, uh, I will say that at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if it's a good idea or a bad idea. It's on the execution, and if it's executed well, regardless, it's executed well. You know, um, so. This movie was executed well. If you know James Wan's work, I mean, he started with, you know, Insidious and The Conjuring, uh, and then went on to do like Star Trek and uh, Furious 7, which was probably one of the best Furious movies of, of the line, um, Aquaman. So he's done a wide range of movies and they've all been done very well, uh, very successful in my opinion. And I've enjoyed all of them. So I do follow him as a director. I do love his work. So anything that he does, I'm always open to it. Uh, same thing with like Neil uh, Blomkamp, uh, you know, the uh, District 9, Elysium, anything he did. And he did a movie called Demonic recently, which I watched and I did enjoy that as well. Um, anyways, back to this movie. Um, so my rating system, the way it goes is scale. Seven's worth a watch. Eight is like definitely worth a watch possibly buy and add to the collection nine is yes it's good add it to your collection and 10 obviously it's a perfect like for me a 10 is like aliens you know a james cameron aliens it's like one of my favorite movies of all time um so i love all kinds of genres um so sci-fi fantasy um you know horror comedy anything you know but i'm more more sci-fi more than anything else um but i love horror too so horror is one of those movies where i just like i you know, I go like start cussing or I get scared, you know, just doing dumb stuff. Um, so anyways, back to the movie. It revolves around the character. Um, see, I don't even know that her name is Annabelle. Actress Annabelle Harris. Um, but basically she plays this girl, starts having these like weird visions. Um, and there's a character called Gabriel, as you can see in the trailer, uh, that is uh, haunting her. <laughs> um, anyways, as the story unfolds, uh, I'm going to say this is a spoiler review because I mean, you can't get into juicy stuff without saying the spoiler. So if you haven't seen it, stop now, watch it, come back and then check it out. So I'm going to give it a moment. Okay. So here, just a warning, the spoiler review right now, talking about the story. So when you first, with the way James Wan like sets up, it, it's beautiful. He tells a story, the way it's shot, the music he uses, like the music makes such a big difference as far as like the execution of the film. It's like a key, it's almost, the music is as, almost as important as the visuals. It's like equal. Um, so but anyways, the way he unfolds the truth of what happens when that, then when that moment happens, I was like, oh shit, shit's about to go down. So when I do the reveal, my face was like this. I was watching with like headphones on because, you know, I, I stay with my brother, so I don't want to, you know, disturb them. Uh, but I had it cranked up, so it was pretty loud. And the whole time was just like this. Like when they're, as they're unveiling the story, when you first see, they pan around and you see Gabe, you know, just chilling. And um, dude, the whole time I was like in disbelief. But like I said, man, the way it was executed was so well, man. And... <laughs> I mean, my man starts, you got to start getting some, uh, Valdo, uh, vibes. Anyone plays Soul Calibur, Valdo, that weird mother motherfucker just does that. <laughs> I mean, he's got even the fucking weapon. I mean, it really literally, uh, call back to, uh, Soul Calibur, uh, fans of, uh, Valdo. Cause that guy is, uh, woo, you get those vibes in this. It is freaky. It's freaky, man. Um, but man, I loved it. I really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun with this movie, uh, especially when it, when the when they reveal the whole, you know, the setup. Man, it, it's ugh, God. The whole time I just like couldn't believe it. I was actually like rooting for Gabe. I was like, dude, 
kill them all. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's it, man. Uh, definitely check it out. Um, it's worth a watch for sure. If I were to rate this, uh, man, it's between an eight and a nine right now. It's I, I definitely will buy this movie and have it in my collection uh, because one, uh, you know, James, while he talks about one something a little different, and this is definitely it's a little different and. And it's nice you know, not to have to like rehash story or remake of an original or something like that, you know. So I like that he's going, you know, a different route. And you have to take those chances as an artist because you never know. Um, and you have to be experiment experimental with the way you shoot and in your storytelling. And man, it's, this was just well done and I had fun with it. And I'm going to recommend this to anyone who's in the horror and the action. Um, yeah, so, man, well done, man. Check it out, HBO Max, Malignant. I don't even know the characters. Just watch the damn movie. All right, guys, hope you guys are doing well and take care. <laughs>